i welcome to this webinar today we'll be talking about many importation i know you must have heard one or two things about many importation before you might have course come across information on whatsapp facebook instagram and other social media about many importation today we'll be showing ourselves some basic details about many importation and how to be successful doing the business many importation has been a business model that has made a lot of people financially stable it's a business model that can guarantee you high profit because if you do many importation well you can get up to 200,000 or more in a month depending on what you are buying and your capital you are starting with so you might have come across some information that people claim that they make 100,000 or more in a week or a month most times the information are always true if you get the correct information and you do many importation well it can really make you financial stable and you'll be more better in your financial statement to do many importation you need to get where you get uh, items from where we get items from is china why china china is the largest producer in the world and their products are extremely cheap china is the main market where everyone purchases products at a very cheap rate you can buy virtually anything from china ranging from clothes to personal products to health products there are so many online sites today where Nigerians can buy items cheaply from china and have them delivered to their houses however not everyone believes in online purchase because of bad experience some of them have had before the belief is always that everything online is a scam however they believe it is not always the case because when rules are followed on the site one can actually afford being scammed by buying from trusted site and following the rules of the site so that is about mini partition china is the highest producer in the world and the items are very cheap so when you bring it into the country you can sell it for high profit margin a lot of people have been doing this business model and they have been successful with it so you too you can join the trend and all you need to do is get what to, you need to make research on what to buy and how to sell it we'll be talking more about this in this training okay another thing is that before you start thinking of mini importation there are certain things you need to have in place as well as researches you need to work on some of these are never going to mini importation without a target market in mind what this means is that before you import any item you should have a target market in mind if it's male for female students or old age you should have target market in mind before you think of importing any product always have a marketing plan no matter how small you should have a marketing plan a well laid marketing plan on how you sell your product when it arrives the third thing is research any product very well before you think of buying it you need to make detailed research about the product you want to buy the top fourth one on the list is make sure any product you wish to buy fulfill the needs of a target set of people your product should be something that, that solve a problem it's so if it solve a problem people tend to buy more and in my own experience buy product that solve me that, that solve a pressing need to majority of people not those not those that are not in my own experience buy products that solve a pressing need to majority of people not those that had to lose away buy items that solve people problem and they will give you more their money or if it's for version you might not be getting much customer and never buy more than your marketing plan can take always make sure that you buy what your marketing plan can handle if your marketing plan can handle 50 don't buy 500 pieces it may really be a problem by sell to sell off the item it is very risky when you have once you have all this in mind then you can start many importation and in this training video today we'll be talking about profitable products profitable products means products that when you buy it it's more you, you it will be easy for you to sell there are items that are in high demand and how to search for them sourcing for them is where to get them at the best rate and we'll also be talking about payment method how you pay and shipping how you pay for the items in naira and they will ship to your doorstep we are talking about faster and cheaper method 
that ship from China to Nigeria. The agency agents that we know before is DHL and FedEx. You must have heard about them. But DHL and FedEx, they are fast, but their price are outrageously expensive. Just imagine buying an item of $20, which is like $7,003, and the shipping fee will be like $30, which is like $11,000. That was outrageously expensive. But we have made research and we have been working with a reliable shipping agent which ship your item to you very fast and they, their cost is minimal. It's not expensive. And the third one here is selling the product. Buying product is one step. Shipping the item to your to your local to your area is another step. But the most important step is selling the product. We'll be covering we'll be talking about how you can sell your product for high profit margin. There are different ways in which you can do this. We have the 75% method and we have the 25% method because it depends on how you buy it and the cost in which you purchase your item that will talk that will determine the profit in which you make and the fourth one on the list is delivering the product to your customer just imagine now you are in lagos state and you have a customer in niger state or kogi that order for your item you don't you it might be problem for you to deliver for to them but we're talking about how you can deliver to them in any part of the country without stressing yourself scaling your profits in this part, we'll be talking about what you need to do in order to increase your profit margin, how to get more return on investment based on what you spend on your on, on purchasing your item and how you sell it. Then, the basic essentials, things you need to have in place before you start mini importation. As a mini importer, you don't need to have anyone abroad or know any custom agent or forwarder. The essential things you need to start this business for moha you need a mobile phone if preferably a mobile phone that can do whatsapp minimum requirements or if you have a computer set either a desktop or laptop computer and if you don't have a computer or a mobile phone you can just access a cyber cafe and it will be okay but i think virtually everyone today have an android phone and it's just enough for the business the second thing you need to get is internet connection so you can just use and uh, you can just subscribe to your sim maybe mtn glow it's a lot and you are connected to the internet and the third one on the list is atm card i think everyone almost everyone has a have an account so you can just get mastercard or visa card and it will be enough to make transaction on the internet you don't need to get dollar from anybody your ATM card will be enough to buy from any of those sites. Then the fourth one on the list is valid or traceable home or office address. What I mean about valid and traceable home address is an address that when you send it to someone, they can easily locate their address. It, if it's possible, it should include the number of the house, the street, the and the city. For example, this is a valid house address number 56 Evans Street Ikeja Lagos that's an example of a traceable address then the next one on the list is email address you can easily get email address if you don't have one by visiting gmail.com you can just create it in less than a minute and you have an email address then we have good and secure source to get product online in this one we'll be talking we'll be talking about it later in the video these are the places in which you will get your item at a very cheap rate and they are secure then you will the second to the last one is good and reliable courier service the function of this courier service is to help you deliver your products to anybody that buy your item in any part of the country you are not restricted to your area alone or your state alone Provided that you are in Nigeria, you can, they can help you send your item to any part of Nigeria if you want to send it to other states. Then we have your marketing strategy. You need to have a marketing strategy, how you will sell your item. We will be showing you some basic things you need to have in place based on your marketing strategy in the training video. 
So one of the most important thing you need to have in, to know about many importation is what they call product niche. Product niche means categories of item that people tends to spend much money on. The first one is product class one, which is health, fitness, and beauty. People tend to spend money on their health, fitness, and beauty. We have product class two is tech gadgets and convenience then the third one is safety and security to explain more detail the first category which is product class one which contains health beauty and pleasure nobody wants to die young people want to look good and enjoy long life so they tend to spend money on items that promise them sound health or make them look good example of products that fall into this category is teeth whitener people want shiny teeth shiny white teeth we have stretch mark remover ladies want to remove their stretch mark to look more beautiful we have scar cream remover then penis and organ enlargement for male then we have butt and breast hips enlargement for ladies eyesight and adult toys these are items that fall this is an example of item that falls under the product category class one which is health beauty and product in this slide here you can see uh, this is a teeth whitening product that is being sold on jumia.com for date of 2125 naira and people are really buying this and this same product that we there is listed on jumia for date of 2125 naira just imagine it listed on a Chinese site at the top 165 naira. But you might not believe this. Chinese, this is a, a Chinese official wholesale market. 1688 is Chinese official wholesale market. And the item is listed on the website in the Chinese currency, which is yen. One yen is equals to is equivalent to 53 naira. The T Twitten product is listed for 30 yen. That's 3 multiplied by 53, which gives us 165 naira. Just imagine an item that costs 165 naira from a China website is being sold at a date of 2125 naira on Jumia. Just imagine the profit that person will make. And if that person can sell like 10 in a week, just imagine that profit. Product class 2 convenience products people want easier ways of getting things done to save time and money they want to cut cost and corners they don't want to be stressed nowadays we don't want to be stressed we want things that will just press and it will get the job done we want convenience we want, don't want ourselves to be disturbed example of items that falls into these categories are electric lunch electric lunch box and swimming machine toothpaste dispenser 12-in-1 kitchen tools tire inflator and fuel saver we have more of them but these are just few example of a problem with a, a circumstances in which this some of these products will be handy is when you are traveling with your car and your tire gets flat in the middle of nowhere the, the solution you need is to get a focanizer but it might be a problem because you might not know where they are and issues like that but when you have an item that can solve that problem for you which will inflate your tire in few 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 minutes and you'll be up and running again that is when this item comes in handy which is portable tire inflator this item is listed on conga for the rate of 5500 naira and people are really buying it that same item that is listed on Konga for the rate of 5,500 Nera, we can get that product from China at the rate of 760 Nera. Just imagine the profit you can make by selling that item. The product is being sold on Chinese portal at the rate of 14.30 yen. And don't forget, 1 yen is equal to equivalent to 53 Nera. That is 14.30 multiplied by 53 it gives us 760 naira. 
So an item that is being sold on Kongya at the rate of 5,500 Naira can be gotten from China at the rate of 760 Naira. Then let's move to the third category, which is product class 3, safety and security. Let me ask you a question. Who is not worried about safety? I think everyone is worried about safety. We want our kids to be safe, our cars, and everything we have. Everyone just wants to be on the safe side. They don't want to lose money. We don't want to lose money. We don't want to lose our, our life and our families. Example of items that falls into this category is car trackers, GPS kids watch, spy cameras, and spy pen. We have smoke detector, Wi-Fi cameras. These items allows you to have control over security and your environment. Example of this is this USB wall charger and it has the function of spy camera. This item it can serve as charger and it has an inbuilt camera that records everything that goes around in the environment. The item is listed on Konga.com a debt of 12,000 300 naira and people are really buying it currently it has three sold then the same the same item on jumia is sold at the rate of 13,300 naira so people are really buying items like this we have lots of items in the category in which you can buy based on your research we have talked about items in which you can buy the next thing is talking about items in which you supposed not to buy the first one on the list is heavy weight items items that their weight is heavy don't buy them because they actually cost more to transport from china to nigeria and which directly increase your cost of buying and also reduces your profit margin so it's advisable to buy lightweight item in which the cost of shipping will be very low and you can make much money why when you sell them the next thing is bulky items items that are bulky in which their mass is large they also affect they also increase your cost of shipping then the third one on the list is temporary solution products things or items that offer temporary solution are not advisable because when the problem or is solved temporarily and it comes back your customer tends not to trust you again and it's not really good for business and the last one on the list is what we call expensive items items that are more than let's say five to ten dollars ten dollars items we call it expensive because when you are starting out or you want to make much more money doing many importation you need to make research and buy items that they are um, their um, price is very low and when you sell it you can make more profit for example if you have twenty dollars to start main importation which is around seven thousand three hundred naira twenty dollars when you buy an item of ten dollars each that means you can only buy two items of ten dollars which is totaling to twenty dollars but just imagine when you have twenty dollars and you buy an item for that cost one dollar each that means you can buy 20 of that item and if you can sell it at the rate of times three or times five that means your profit margin increase also so it's advisable to start out with items that are of low price like let's say one to five dollars it's good for a starter and even experienced people still work on it because you tend to have much profit doing the, doing that we have talked about the the type of product you can import and it is and categories for the product in, in which you should not import which are every products and products that are expensive now let's talk about websites in which you can get these products from we have aliexpress dhgate alibaba ipmat 1688 all these websites listed there are trusted websites and they are reliable if you follow the rules on the site, you buy quality products and at, at the very cheap rate. So let's compare some items and the price in which you can get them on different websites. This is Konga.com. The product called Hair Wax Cleaner is sold at the rate of 15,000 Naira. 
that same item is listed on Jumia for the rate of 7,323 Naira. And on Gigi, Gigi.ng, it's listed for the price of 8,000 Naira. Then on a Chinese porter, which is AliExpress, the product is listed for the rate of 8.88 dollars, which is approximately 3,200 Naira. So now imagine a product that is being sold at the rate of 3,002, Nigerians are selling it at 8,000 Naira. So if you get your own item at the rate of 3,002 and you sell it in with 100% profit, that's 3,002 times 2, which is 7,004. So if you sell your product at the rate of 7,004, you still make 100% profit. Now let's check if we can get something better. Now on another Chinese portal, which is 1688, the item goes for the rate of 3.50 yen. 1688, don't forget, is the world same market in China and they only sell to their Chinese citizens. They don't have far selling and shipping to other countries. But when you use shipping and forwarding agents, they help you, you buy from China and they help you ship to where you are. And it is 100% reliable. Now, on 1688, the item goes for the rate of 210 Naira. That's 3.50 multiplied by 53, which is approximately rate of yen to naira. The item that goes on take for 3,200 naira on AliExpress is being sold at the rate of 210 naira on 1688. It might be unbelievable because you might not believe this, but this is the real fact. So now let's move to the next thing. We have product research. Product research talks about how you can research and know what is trending. So you will know what what type of product you need to buy and where you can sell it to your customers. We have Naira Land. You can make research on Naira Land what is trending. We have Facebook, dropship sites, sites that do dropshipping. We have Asinot TV. Asinot TV have brands that specify on are um, importing goods from China and selling to the whole world. They make their research and make video for it, which it, you can easily use it for your own personal advert also. Then we have product selection and purchase. Product selection and purchase talks about how you can select products from different buyers because the same item on the different on the, on the same website can be listed for different prices. So you need to select them and sort them in a very good way in which you get a quality product and at the cheapest price. Just imagine all these uh, import portals, how they work is like this. Everybody, every sellers on this site have quality products and they list it at the price in which they want. It's just like no, normal shopping mall in which you can go there and you will see different seller that are selling the same product at different rates so it doesn't mean that the one that is expensive is of high quality they are of the same quality so in this area we're talking about make sure you look for the best products for the cheapest price then how to discover cheap products and identify credible sellers to discover cheap product, ensure you compare different sellers' price before you place order and also note the following in order to identify a credible seller. Seller's rating. Do not buy products from seller if the rating falls below 95%. This means don't buy items from a seller that their rating falls below 95%. means some people, five, like more than 5% have complained about them. So you shouldn't buy from them. Well, the other thing you need, you need to do is check buyer reviews and feedback. Check what other buyers are saying about the product. This will show you what the product is and the experience those that bought the item previously had about the product. Then the next thing is talk, we are, we're talking about is eco payment system. There might be some people that are still worried about buying products from China. 
they might be worried at all. Oh, what about if my money got uh, taken away? If I if I'm being scammed or, or defrauded, all this pay, all this Chinese portal has what we call eco payment system. It's a system that is put in place to fight against scam and fraud. How this system works is like this: when you purchase any item on these importation portals, your money is being owed by the website itself. So the money is not given to the seller, but the seller will release the item and send it to you. So when the item gets to you and you are satisfied, you will notify the website and they will give the money to the seller. But if you get the item and you are not satisfied, they will just notify the website and you will complain that you are not satisfied with the item and they will refund your money back to you. So you shouldn't be scared to do many importation or buy from any of these importation portal. And one of the most important thing we need to know is about getting a cheaper and faster shipping agent. We have talked about DHL and FedEx. DHL, FedEx and HMX, they are fast shipping agents that ships your item for you fast from China to Nigeria. But the problem with them is that their price is very expensive. We talk about 1688 that they don't ship to Nigeria. DHL and FedEx can help you ship items from China to Nigeria on 1688, but the price is expensive. So we have made some research and we have discovered different alternatives for them. Example of them is Squeezebeak Mall and BC Logistics. We have much more also, but we'll be talking about them later in, the, in, in our course. This shipping agent help you get your item from China and ship it to Nigeria very fast and very affordable rates. They have different shipping method and they have different shipping price based on what you need. Then another thing you need to know is criteria to discover all products to import. Criteria in which you will use to know products that are hot in demand that people are really ready to buy. For you to know what product to import, such products are to satisfy any of these criteria. The first one on the list is the product must be able to solve a particular problem or address a pressing need of people. Secondly, it must not be the one you can easily walk into any nearby store to get. Don't import a product in which someone can just easily go to the nearby shop and buy it. It won't be, it's not good for business. The third one on the list is it should target a vast majority of people, not just a few sets of people. Your item should be applicable to lots of people so that you have many potential customers. Then another one on the list is you can also go for festive products, which are products that are only found during the festive time. You can go for items that are, they are seasonal that they can see during festive period, in which they cannot see at any time. So it can easily be sold during those festive period. Then second to the last one on the list is really seen products or common products. It's advisable to sell items in which people rarely seen and it's very uncommon. So when they see it from you, they want to buy it from you. you don't want to lose the opportunity. Then don't forget which is the last one is lightweight products. Always buy products that are lightweight. Products that are heavy, they cost more to ship and they directly reduce your profit when you buy them. Then so these are some of um, so these are the criteria of knowing what to what products to buy and which not to buy. Ensure the products you want to want to import solve human personal life problem, such as hearing aid for those with hearing problem, body odor removal, health products, hair growth problem products, vaginal care products, mouth odor products, sexual health products. These are just examples of items that solve human health challenges and people really buy items like this here is a list of items that are at the range of one to five dollars and they are good if you want to start mini importation fast you can they are they are tested and they are reliable people are buying them and you too you can buy and the buyers are 
unlimited so some of the lists they have we have portable sewing machine car scratch remover hair coiler power banks mosquito lamps anti snow belt wrist watches jerry's slimming tea hair goods toothpaste dispenser skin care creams stretch stretch mark remover creams people are really buying these items so these are items that are very cheap in which you can just buy some of them and start selling right away with 10,500 naira or less like 5,000 naira you should be able to get started with two products of those listed above though there are still many other products that require small startup capital you can also do your personal research to discover more if you still have 5,000 naira you can still buy some of these products in few pieces and you can start don't wait till you have 100,000 naira or more because just when you start you start getting experience and it will get easier for you getting a product at a cheap rate from china and getting into your house is is a phase and one of the most important phase in many importation business is how to sell your product how to sell very fast and get much profit you can sell on facebook instagram you can sell on e-commerce websites like jumia conga and others and you can also set your own e-commerce store or use a sales funnel we'll talk later more about sales funnel now how do you sell your product very fast the simple answer is sell your product where people are already spending money to buy similar or the same product some of these places are jumia conga kmu and dd in order to do this if you plan to import 500 pieces of a product import just 20 first and see how fast you can sell it through this platform if you are able to sell very fast then you can go ahead and import the remaining 500 pieces this is all about testing make sure you test so that you won't end up with importing goods in large quantity and you realize that people are not interested in it or it doesn't sell very fast how to partner with these e-commerce companies most people never know this secret the beauty of partnering with them is that they market your products for you some of these companies handle the shipping for you as well and and these are these are credible e-commerce websites that people spend hundreds of thousands every day to buy things from them all they want from you is quality products at a re relatively cheap price cheap enough to make a good profit and also good enough to entice customer the more you don't have to stress yourself looking for whom to buy your product so all you have to do is give them your product or create your own store on their website sit back and watch your email fill up with other notification so selling on e-commerce giant website is one of the best strategies in which you can sell off your product people have already already trusted those websites so when your item is listed on them people tend to trust you and buy from you another important thing in minimum partition business is delivery when you sell online you, your customers tends to be from different states and different locality so when you are when you don't have a good delivery system in place you might be restricted to your state which would really disappoint your customers and limit the reach of who you can sell to when you have a standard delivery system you can sell to any part of the country and have much customer base which directly increase your return on investment and you get more customers to sell to so we have made research and we have gotten some of the best delivery agents that can do that for you we have ace trainers gig logistic and hideous they are good delivery agents that deliver products to any part of the country without stress all what you just need to do is send an address to them they'll pick their item from your office or home and deliver to the buyer in any state in which they are you can even make life easy by sending all your products to the delivery agency and the whole is picking the item one by one and sends to your buyers whenever you send them the address of anyone that plays 
and other. And one thing that is very common in Nigeria is that people tend to buy more from those that offer payments on delivery. So all these logistics companies also offer payments on delivery. So when they take your item to your buyer, they receive money at the spot and immediately they transfer the money to your account. So all you need to do is send them the address of your buyer. They send the products to the, they take the products to the buyer and they collect the money and after that they send the money into your account. So the main importation strategy now is getting much more easier. Get the product from China, market it on market it online get the delivery agency to send the to take the item to the buyer and you get your money then you can repeat the process again and get much more money comparing sales here we'll be talking we'll be comparing different websites uh, the price they are selling an item and how much you can get it from a chinese portal the first thing is six in one fashion bag for ladies it is sold on it is sold on Konga. At the rate of 4,999 naira, and the same item is being sold on Jumia at the rate of 10,000 naira, 9,499 on Konga, 10,000 naira on Jumia. Then on a Chinese site, is being sold at the rate of 70 yen. That is 70 multiplied by 53, which gives us 3,710 naira. So a product that is being sold on by on on Jumia at the rate of 10,000 naira can be gotten from China at the rate of 3,710 naira. Can you see that mini importation is something really profitable if you really understand the secret in it. There is another item on Jumia.com which is self steering mug. It is sold at the rate of 2,500 naira on Jumia. Hong Kong on AliExpress is being sold at the rate of 2,493 naira. So the profit margin buying this item on AliExpress this time around is not very profitable. It's, there's no much difference. But the same item is sold on a Chinese site which is 1688 to be specific at the rate of 9.80 yen which is equivalent to 520 naira. So another product here is portable sewing machine. This portable sewing machine is listed on Jumia.com at the rate of 11,300 naira. And on AliExpress, we can get it at the rate of 5,640 naira. That is 15.45 dollars. When you buy this this item on AliExpress this time around, you make profit. Which is like which is close to 100% profit, but that same portable sewing machine is sold on 1688 at the rate of 1855 that is 35 yen, that's five times 53, which is 1855. So now, here is where we have the difference an item that is listed on Jumia 11,003. You can get it at AliExpress 5640. When you buy from AliExpress, you make profit of 4000 naira plus, plus. But when you buy from 1688, you make profit close to 8000 naira. So you can see the difference between where you buy from and how it affects your profit margin. So now let's talk about conservative group chart. Good chart. Here we'll be talking about some of the costs, some of the money you can make even without exaggerating or making the price very high. Now, let's say now you you started the uh, main importation business with 5,000 naira and the item that you are buying and selling, you are making 50% profit on it. What I mean by 50% profit is when you buy an item of 100 naira, you sell it for 150. So they will have profit of 50 naira, that's 50% profit. So if you are doing that repeatedly for your first purchase and when you purchase your item at the first time and sell everything, your 5,000 naira turn to 75. When you do this, when you do it the third time, your 5,000 naira that you invest the whole capital and the profit, it turns to 16,850. 
and uh, at the fourth time your 5000 naira and the profit it increased to 25275 naira likewise when you start with 30000 naira when you try it at the fourth time it increased to 160000 naira and 70 160700 naira that is when if you are getting 50% profit and i think that is even very low because it's very conservative when you buy item from china you can even make profit from 100 to 500 percent profit depending on what you are buying and how you are marketing your product so what about if you are making 100 percent profit on the item you buy from china that means when you buy item of 1000 naira, you are able to sell it at 2000 naira. that's getting 100 percent profit buying item when you have starting capital of 5000 naira. Your first trip, you get 10,000 naira when you buy everything and sell all your products. On your second trip, your 5,000 naira when you invest the profit, you get 10,000 naira. And when you invest the whole 10,000 naira, you get 20,000 naira on the second trip. Likewise, on the fourth trip, the 5,000 naira that you start with will have increased to 80,000 naira. That means you are already making cool money when you continue like that. You are already going into financial freedom. What about if you start with thirty thousand naira or more? Thirty thousand naira. When you are making hundred percent profit, when you will be doing the business for the fourth time, buying, importing, and selling for the fourth time, you will have gotten four hundred and eighty thousand naira. And the difference for each trip, it might just be three to four weeks. Maybe you buy depending on how fast you ship your item. To Nigeria and how you make the sale. Let's say you ship to Nigeria in three weeks, then you make all the, you sell all your, your item in two weeks. That means it takes you five weeks for one complete round. And you can even be better by selling everything up, buying and selling everything up in three weeks or four weeks. So the faster you you can get your item and sell it off, the faster each round and increase your profit margin. So, and don't forget, every dollar counts. When you get an item for the rate of $5 somewhere, and you can get that same item at the rate of $4 on another portal, it's always better to go for that $4. You might look like $1 is very negligible, but when you are buying 100 pieces of that same item, maybe that $5 multiplied by 100 now is $500. But if you buy it from the other side, which is four dollars, four dollars times hundred, that's four hundred dollars. Now we have difference of hundred dollars in the price. That is thirty-seven thousand naira difference. So every dollar counts. Make sure you maximize your money on goods you purchase. Consider the price very well and quality before you make your purchase. Another thing we were talking about is what we call funnel. Funnel is one of the marketing strategies nowadays that people use and it's very profitable. It's just like sending people to a page in which you give them information about what you are selling. And for them to know more, they enter their personal details like email address, phone number and name before they can access the information. So after they access the information, they can they get, get the information about the products you want to sell to them. And if they buy, good. And if they don't buy, you can easily message them or email them again about the product. And if they buy, you can also, when you have something similar later in the future, you can market those items that are similar to what they bought in the first times to them again. So these are some of the things you benefit when you sell with funnels. You get better results and more sales. You, you can set up funnel once and it's on itself. For, when you, you sell with funnels, it is immunity to saturation. It, it can never be saturated because you it, you stand out from others. Then we have leave you leave your competitor casing the dust because others that are selling the same product and they're not using the funnels, you tend to outsmart them. Then you have the ability to brand and set yourself apart in the marketplace. When you are using funnel, you set yourself apart from the marketplace. You 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 stand out from others. Then ability to sell some type of 
of high profitable product you can sell with conventional product um, conventional model methods when you use funnels you'll be able to sell some items in which you might not be able to sell when you don't use funnel for example you might not be able to sell for um all these pennies and enlargement products for mail and some health products also with conventional methods but when you use funnel you can explain what the product does how it performs with the funnels and people tend to trust you and buy from you and ease of scalability you can easily scale up funnels because when someone buy egg from you you know that the person love egg you can sell items that are related to head to that person also because you have already known what the person like and you, you keep marketing things that are related to what they have bought from you previously so you can easily increase your profit margin by using funnel helps you to sell figures or other products to a set of customers i have talked about it then reduce cost reduce cost making sales on long time long time how high that's return on investment when you use one of the cost of getting your customer the cost of your advertisement or the time you spend to get buyer will be reduced because you have already have the details of your buyers and it directly increase your profit margin some of the products you can sell with funnels and skincare products we have stretch mark products blackheads wrinkle high bags removal we have health products also like weight loss tea sexual enhancer hair growth funnels diabetes and high blood pressure monitors slimming tea womb clean cleaners and others we have security products also you can sell gps tracker spy cameras and others with funnels funnels is just like how you come across this video when you get access to a page we demanded for your email phone number and others then after that you are directed to these videos that is how a funnel look like so instead of this video this time around it can be is a details example of how the product works what the product does example of how it works we have talked about some basic things in which we need to put in place a mini importation like what to buy where to buy and how to buy and where to sell it and how to handle delivery but we can't go into full details in this training video that's why we have put together a complete guide which is 100 percent practical on mini importation which is called ecom secrets in this training guide there we we pack everything that is necessary for you to start a successful mini importation without leaving anything out and in, in that trading what you will be learning includes how to buy directly from manufacturers and avoid patronizing retailers and this will cost you 70 percent price reduction that means you can it will add much more to your profit margin like previously we talked about aliexpress aliexpress is like a retailer website because most of the sellers on aliexpress get their products from 1688 so we we'll explain the concept in which you can get your item directly from manufacturers at the wholesale price which can reduce your price the cost of getting your product the next thing we're talking about is how to find out in demand product where you alone dominate the market we'll teach you how you can research and know products that people are really interested in buying then we'll be, we'll be giving you 10 odds in demand items you can sell instantly we have already researched 10 odds in demand products for you in which you can just select the one you want buy and start marketing then we'll show you how to ship your products to nigeria in less than seven days even we have a shipping agent that ships to nigeria in 24 to 48 hours we'll show you how to market how to master self-promotion and sell tons of products daily using facebook and instagram we'll show you all the details and how, how to make more sale on facebook and instagram we'll show you how to make payments without going to a bookie to buy dollars we'll show you how to make payments using your naira and without getting dollar card or disturbing yourself just using your normal bank account and make payments we'll show you how 
to choose the best logistics that delivers to your customer and pay you instantly. We, talk, we have talked about delivery. We will show you more delivery agency that deliver to your customers in Nigeria and they pay you instantly when they collect the money from your customers. Another thing you will be learning in the, in the e-com secret is how to spy on your competitors. We will show you how you can know what your, your competitors are selling, how they are selling it, the price they are selling it and the method in which they are using to sell, in, to sell it. We will also teach you how to get videos for your advertisement. Because some products, when you are selling some products, you need videos to explain how the product works and what it does. You might not have the time or resources to hit, to record a video that explains the item, but we'll teach you how to get a video that you can use for your advertisements and to get you much more sale. We'll teach you how to manage your mini importation business, how to document your business for good business strategy. We'll teach you how to create standard advertisement images. Pictures speak louder. People think in pictures. So we'll teach you how you can create eye-catching images for your advertisement. We'll, you will also learn how to sell, how to create a seller account on those popular e-com websites like Jumia and Kongia. We'll teach you how to create a, create a seller account and list your item on all these popular e-commerce websites without stress and it's, it is free to list on this e-commerce website. We'll teach you how you can be a partner on, on this site and you get much customer without stressing yourself. You might be wondering how, how much would this training cost you? The training, we might charge you 20,000 naira for this training course because the training is worth more than that. But we won't be doing that because we want everyone to benefit. We want to help people so that we can all get to the top at the home um, together. So or if we charge the we charge you the rate of ten thousand naira, that will be a fair deal. How about five thousand naira? We won't be charging five thousand naira also, but we'll be taking we'll be giving you access to this training course for the rate of two thousand naira only. But mind you, this price is just limited for fast action takers those that take action very fast after watching this video you can pay online by visiting this website www.cybertalkng.org slash 2 k and you can make your payment and you get access to the course live and directly without st stress so but mind you the access to this video it's just for a limited time. After that, the, we increase the price back to ten thousand naira. To make your payment, you can transfer. You can make a bank transfer to this GT Bank account with the name at the top. The account number is zero one two four two six six three seven four. For those that want to do online payment, you can visit cybertalkng.org slash 2k and make online payments with your ATM card and you'll be directed to the course instantly. So you can send your proof of payments to confirm at cybertalkng.org when you make transfer so that you'll be verified and you'll be given access to the training video. You might still have some questions like how much can you start with? You can start this mini position business with minimum capital you have it even you can start with minimum as 5000 naira because when you you can get some items less than 5 or 1000 naira so you can get up to 10 of them and you can sell them and start increasing your money based on your profits and another question is can a student do it yes anybody can do many importation business whether you have a phone and you have the passion to start the business you are not doesn't it doesn't matter what you do or what is your profession even a student you can start doing it and use it to support your money you spend in school and you can even sell to your classmates and schoolmates another thing is i am a very busy person some people say that they are very busy and they think that the business can take a lot of their time no you don't need to spend much time with this business all what you need to do is buy the products pay online 
and send the deliver send the products to the delivery agents. Whenever you make sale, you just send a text message to them and they handle delivery for you. So you don't need to knock anybody's door or start trekking from up and down, transporting yourself to sell items. You don't need that. Then you, you might be asking again, do I need a store? Some people ask us this question that do they need a store? You don't need any shop, you don't need to rent any shop. You can always keep the item in your house. Whenever you have sale, you just take it out and send it to the courier that deliver it to your customers. Or you can even store them in the courier service warehouse in which they just pick it up themselves and send it to those that buy from you. Or what you just need to do is send them the address of the buyer. And another thing is some of them ask us, I am not in Lagos. When you are not in Lagos, it doesn't really matter. Whether you are in Nigeria, you can send everything to your local delivery agency and they would add everything for you. All what you just need to do is have your marketing plan and have your marketing plan and strategy in place. When you get customer, send them the details and they deliver the items for you. Another question is, can I use a phone? Yes, you can use phone for whether your phone can do WhatsApp and it can browse, you can use your phone for the business. And last question we have here is, did I need a website? Mm, no, when you are just starting mini importation, you don't need a website. But if you have a website, it adds more value to you because you can even you can actually have more customer base. But if you don't have a website, you can still use different marketing marketing plans to sell your products you can use them facebook instagram and other social platforms to sell your products you can even partner with those e-commerce websites we listed so if you have a website that means you are already going yourself your shop and you have a, your own personal brand but if you are just starting out you don't need the website so you just can start from where you are and when you go you add much more value to your business so that is most of the question we have if you have any question to you you can still contact us by sending us email then after you enroll in our course we give you support which is we give you support in, along your journey of many importation after enrolling in course we don't just leave you alone any along the journey we, we support you when you have any questions we answer you and when you need help we assist you with all the resources we have so that you have a successful mini importation business so so take action very fast so that you'll be enjoying the offer of buying you know, assessing this course at the rate of 2000 because it's limited access if you have gotten the number of people we want to access this we increase the price back to 10,000 now so take this opportunity and enroll very fast this is the payment options in which you have we have the bank transfer payment option we have the online payment option also so um, take fast action and we'll see you in the training section